this for you? And I guess, this, do you always feel that maybe Rome's conditions are better for you? It brings out the best yeah. in you sometimes. Yeah, I, I think the conditions are pretty suitable to my, to my game. It's a kind of a medium speed court conditions, uh, which is quite suitable, uh, as I said, to, uh, to the, the game style that I have. Um, and I, I, I just, overall, I feel always so nice in Rome because, you know, I think speaking Italian helps, but also I, um, I feel connected to the people here. Um, you know, back in, uh, I think 2008 was one of the first big ones that I won, um, the first Rome title I had. And ever since then, I had plenty of finals and titles and semifinals. So I always kind of played well in Rome, you know. And uh, I think that's uh, due to to the connection and relationship I have with uh, with people, and they just give me great energy, and and it motivates me to play well. <coughs> Out of the context question, but there's this video of Nadal hitting some balls with Sharapova at practice here, and I'm wondering if you have already one day practiced with one of the top women players just for the fun or. I was practicing with Maria many years ago in Indian Wells, actually. We had a, we had a proper practice, and uh, I think with Caroline as well, Wozniacki, years ago. So I have no problem to... to actually, they, they, hit, they hit better than most of us guys, you know, from the spot. I mean, they don't, they don't miss, and then they hit flat and <laughs> straight at you. So they don't take time to warm up, you know. They go, you know, full speed at you, so it's... Uh, no, but it's fun. I mean, I, I have nothing against that. In, in contrary, I actually, I actually like, I mean, I played with Anna Ivanovic a couple of times, uh, Hopman Cup, and we practiced there. So uh, I've done it before. Uh, Novak, I know you spoke before that it's a process for you to get back to where you want to be. But I'm wondering, do you get the sense that if you have a couple of decent wins in a row, you think something will click for you? Is that how you're feeling ahead of the French? Or? Um, well, French Open is, is, is where I want to play my best tennis. I mean, that's, that's so to say, the big goal for, for this part of the season. But, um, you know, I, felt, I feel like my game has been going in the right direction in the last couple of tournaments. Obviously, I didn't get too many matches and the results are not, you know, I would say satisfying for me and, and, and I know for the people that follow me have because I've, I've had s such a high standard for so many years. But it is what it is, and I have to accept it. I, I, I know that I haven't been up to, up to the level that, that I desired, but as I said, you know, Madrid, and now the first match here has been already uh, encouraging, um, you know, story, and, and hopefully I can continue in the right way. <coughs> no, like, do you feel you've putting extra pressure on yourself because you know the expectations mm. of outside? Is it something new that you weren't doing maybe in the past? Or? Well, yeah, it, it is a mental game. I mean, for sure, I, I, knowing that I've, you know, reached heights, biggest heights of this sport and I've been consistent with, with the, you know, best possible results for so many years, um, as I said, the, the bar has been raised so, so high that, you know, if, when I step on the court, I, I expect to win every match against anybody on any surface. And, and it's, it's, it's not a secret. I mean, so the expectations are always high in that regard. Um, but at the same time, um, uh, you know, I had to, to learn in, the, in the, the last 12 months that, because of the circumstances and the injury and surgery and all these different things and I had to, you know, th think about my game and about my results and approach the tournaments in a little bit of a different way. It's not like I don't want to win, of course I want to win every match, but um, I had to understand that uh, where, where my level of my game is and to, to accept this reality and to, to accept that the, there is a process to get to where I want to go, uh, you know, be in terms of uh, play level of play so as i said you know I, I feel like every day has been a progress you know rome has always been a place where where i felt good where i received a lot of support where i played well and a lot of great results 
and uh, today's match encourages me and, and gives me reason to, to believe that it can be well at you know good week for me and let's let's see i mean obviously i i don't i would like to go all the way but i you know at the same time looking at my results i have to be a little bit more modest i would say with with expectations and see where it takes me Novak, you've always been incredibly intense on court, of, co of course, but over the past year or so, over the past two years in terms of everything that you've experienced, is, has there anything changed in terms of where you maybe have a chance to de de decrease the voltage or anything off court, to just relax a little more? Have you changed anything about the way that you relax off court so that you can bring your best on court? Well, look, you know, it's... It's it's a it's a balance that you need to you need to find. I mean, obviously, I can only speak on my own behalf because all the players and athletes and people go through different stories in their life and you know different trajectories. And but that's that's what life is all about. You know, figuring out how to how to be the best version of yourself in whatever you do. And um, you know, for me, I, I've been through. Uh, as I said, various circumstances that has that have brought new challenges for me as a, as a tennis player and, and as a human being. And but as you know, weird as it sounds for me as well, even though you know, knowing that I have haven't had you know a major title in a while and haven't played uh, you know good tennis in a while, I still am glad that I'm going through this process because it allows me to get to know myself on a deeper levels and and address certain things that you usually don't address when everything goes well you're you're fine you know and there are things that are just accumulated because you know you you're not addressing them at the right moment and you think well you know I'm, i want to match everything is okay and so that's what happened with an injury for example you know i didn't address it at the right time and then it just gotten worse and worse to the point where i just had to stop and I had to make surgery and so forth. So, you know, it's it's all a learning curve for me, and and you know, figuring out the way <clears throat> how I want to move forward with tennis from this point onwards. And uh, and 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 as I say, I don't have um, yet 100% clarity in terms of you know what the future will look like, but uh, but I'm getting there, and and I feel more comfortable on the court, more comfortable you know with with my team and obviously you know that's where i've made many changes in the last 12 months and that hasn't really brought a a, a, a sense of you know comfort and peace to me because i had to always think you know who's going to be next to me do i need not someone if that someone is going to travel full time not you know what we're going to work on obviously new people uh, new ways of seeing my game and changing things and changing the record and you know, all these different things and changes um, changes are you know in general are good when when they're you know kind of focused on improvement and that's that's what I'm focused on and we'll see where it takes me. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday. You said tomorrow, so just do it!